Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. When we last left off, we had found ourselves a new key. We have got the diamond key, if I remember correctly. Chuck. Yep, so we got the diamond key, which is wonderbar. So let's go put that key to good use, shall we? And we also need to go get our second red gem by burning some priceless artwork, which apparently isn't exactly the most tasteful artwork, but uh, that's cool. We can use this key and this um, lighter down the same route. So it's all gravy, baby. It's all gravy. And I cannot get over just how cool Claire's outfit is. It really is badass. I'm really hoping for this to be in the remake. Now, we might be running into an old friend in a minute as well. But we shall cross that bridge when we get to it. So we're going to go back to the... Uh, I think it's like the briefing room. We did open that, and there was nothing in there but a first aid spray. Yeah, we're going to go back to the briefing room, and then we're going to go back to um, the corridor with our safe room in. The dark room. Which, hopefully... Yeah, we've been in there, which is nice. Which, hopefully, is going to contain some rather useful and interesting items. Or, you know, maybe not. Could be a load of old shit, for all I remember. But I'm pretty sure I remember there's some good stuff in there. Right, let's go burn the painting. Set it on fire. So, definitely once you know a little bit about Police Chief Iron's personality, this kind of macabre painting. I'm really annoyed. I'm sure there's bullets in this room. Yeah, sacrifice to the whole fire. That's his favourite painting of the month. I was sure there was ammo in this room, but never mind. My old brain is not as sharp as it used to be. Especially when I haven't played this for about a million years. Ooh. Another gem. I wonder if they're like actual, like big rubies. Or if they're just glass. The red jewel. Interesting. Yeah, so Raccoon City is completely and wholly owned by Umbrella. They have their claws in everything. Now, if you go into the law, like, Umbrella make everything from drinks to, I assume, food to electronics. Not just medicine. Now, let's go back down this way. I don't think those arms come out at us again, which is good. Something is written here. Please keep quiet when meetings are in session. You got it. No discharging firearms. Now, what's quite interesting, um, in the guide, it actually calls this the Colt Python. And it says it's almost as powerful as the Magnum. I think the guide was slightly inaccurate there. And by slightly inaccurate, I mean very inaccurate. Ooh! Reload. Get away from me, buddy. Come on. Yeah, this is the weakness of this gun. It just doesn't have the capability. The capability? It doesn't have the ability to reach out and touch. Ooh, yes, we think we will. And that's the plastic explosive. Um, as many enemies as you would like. Uh, all I need now to destroy the wall. Yeah, we need the detonator. I know. It's quite interesting that Claire knows about that, even though she hasn't actually looked. And there is more stuff here. Come, buddy. Show yourself. Allow me to put you out of... Oops. Allow me to put you out of your misery, my friend. Come on. I got the cure for Elsa. Six shots. Oh, he's down. Oh, there's two of them. Uh oh. Not good. Oh, see that, that lunge attack that I was saying about? That's what you're up against. I'm not sure if... Nah, I didn't think he was dead. Shit. 
Ooh, nice try, buddy. Fuck you, pal. He's almost a clear sandwich. There we go, that's what we was looking for. But I thought there was actually something else in here as well. I thought there was bullets. Hmm. Hmm. I am disappointed. Game, you promised me bullets. Oh, okay. That's kind of what I was thinking of, but not quite what I wanted. Anyway, all right, let's go through this door. Now, this is the room that Leon would be in. There's our friend Marvin over there, just chilling. There's Leon's desk. Oh, what have we got here? Memo to Leon. To Leon S. Kennedy, congratulations on your assignment to the Raccoon City Police Department. We all look forward to having you as part of our team and promise to take good care of you. Welcome aboard from all the guys at the RPD. Mm. Indeed. Now they've fleshed that out a little bit in the new game. There's some bullets here. Lovely. Right, what we're actually going to do is come out of this door here. You may remember this door. Yeah, we're going to get out of here. We're going to jiggle our junk around. Because we're kind of stacked at the moment. We need to pick up pretty much as much as we can in one run. <clears throat> Trying to keep... Tra uh, backtracking to a minimum. Yeah, my brain's barely working. I have a bit at work all day. So. Out in the pissing rain, which uh, is as much fun as it sounds. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. We can develop you later. We actually do need both of those. And we can eat a herb. There we go. Brings us back up to fine. Cool. Don't like being in caution on this game. Seven minutes already. Holy shit. This is quite interesting because, like, this game was in direct competition with um, Clock Tower 2 or 3, depending on where you're from. Like, how? How can this even stand up to Resident Evil? Like, ah, there's another report over here, I think. Like, Clock Tower 2 was such... Or Clock Tower 3 was just such dog shit in comparison to this game. Holy hell. It's a bit like saying anything from bloody... Um, uh, oh, what are they called? That crappy indie developer that um, Jim Sterling's always banging on about. Digital Homicide. It's a bit like saying Digital Homicide's games stack up to like, I don't know, Bethesda's or someone. Just, no. No. Keep that shit to yourself, guys. Like, Clock Tower wasn't even bad until, like, the third game, anyway. Hey, Marv. You, uh... <coughs> you, uh, not looking so good there, buddy. You, uh, look like you're a little bit under the weather, my friend. Now, Marvin is a quick zombie. He's fast, and he's strong. But luckily, we have this son of a bitch to send him away from this world. Right, yeah, we'll definitely take the detonator. We need that bad boy. Now, a photo stand, possibly a family photo. Ah, oh, Marv. Sorry to see you uh, end up this way, my friend, but uh, them's the breaks, I'm afraid. Was it? What am I missing here? Why do I get the overwhelming feeling that I'm missing something? Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, we now have what we need to clear the blockage. Let's go back. 
through this door and develop the film, grab the other jewel, and then we can get another piece of our puzzle. Can't remember what that film is actually. To be honest, I think. Ah, I do remember. I remember. My brain is still firing in places. Right, let's go grab up. We're going to not want that. Definitely need to organize this inventory a little bit. We want that on us. We want that on us. Uh, healing items can be like up here. What else have we got? I do like to have some kind of order to this chaos. Leave that down there. Weapons can go down the bottom. Because uh, there's actually quite a lot of weapons in this game. Ammo can go there. Key items could be down here. Health at the top. Weapons. Can go down ha. Huh? Knife we're never gonna use. Handgun probably never gonna use. These we will obviously be using, but we need that and we need both of those. So we can probably drop that. I don't like dropping that, if I'm honest, but I suppose we're just about to go make a load of space anyway, so I guess we could always take it with us. Um Right, let's get this film developed. What do we have? Film A. Ooh. That's just the G virus. An arm. Now, one of the characteristics of the G virus, actually, is uh, pretty much every G virus monster has lots of eyes. For some reason. Can't, I think they did explain it at one point, but can't really remember the reasoning behind it but anyway let's cut through here and get back up to the other side Sh probably should have brought the grenade launcher with me because I th think we're gonna go into liquor town which is uh, <clears throat> less fun than it sounds to be honest all right Marv gone to the land of the living have you the land of the dead, I should should say. The actual dead. The proper dead. Not the fake dead. Well, let's get on out. Okay. So we should... I think we can get another block from this. Another one of those stone tablets. And we're going to go say hello to a bit of a strange gentleman. Strange gentleman that I think could use a bullet to the back of the head. Although half of me thinks that a bullet to the back of the head would probably be too good for him. I love the precinct music, man. Please have that kind of ambience in the new game. So what we like for inventory space? Thought so. Right, so just... For a bit of added boom, we'll take our grenade launcher. Just in case, because you don't know what we're going to run into. Actually, some of you probably do know what you're going to run into. And I've got a pretty good idea of what we're going to run into as well. Good. 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 This is good. Very good. Right, okay. Right, let's go use our jewels. I love these. Like, check how chunky and big these are. That's what she said. Look at those things. They look amazing. They actually look bigger when you put them on this. There we go. And these uh, high-res, like, graphics, cinematics, do look pretty incredible, even now. So that gives us... Oh, only half of the blue stone. Curious. 
All right. Okay, so something that I was expecting to happen there didn't happen there, which is curious. Very curious. But we can blow this up. The door is broken, and I can't go any further. There's no choice but to take out the wall. I love the way she jumps to that. Like, what a fucking hero. Right, let's combine these two together. There we go. And use that. Yeah, the only choice is to blow this wall up with C4. Demolition Claire coming in. Claire's like a frickin' um, sapper. Combat engineer. Crazy. I love hearing the PlayStation load as well. Ooh, so nostalgic. Alright there, uh... That's lovely. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all. Are you the sure? Others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her. But I failed miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Hmm. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. Hmm. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. Huh. Surprising. But no longer. Please. I'd really like to be alone now. Yes. Now, I'm pretty sure. Please. I'd really like to be alone. I'm pretty now. sure that in the um, books it goes into a little bit more detail that I think he actually killed her. Possibly, you know, did stuff as well. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. It's been a long time. Might actually have to read the books again soon. A stuffed animal. So the chief was a bit of a hunter and liked very macabre things. Hmm. Now, I like macabre things as well, but... Uh, yeah, not quite the same way as him, I would wager. Ooh. Hello. Pitter patter of little footsteps. Hello. Rather ominous looking light switch there. Hello. Wait. <laughs> Let me go. Easy, easy there. I'm not a I think that much is obvious. You're safe now. Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Been quite industrious. Got it. Glad Leon knows what Why corridor we're talking there? about. What's yours? Sherry, do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant, near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably mm -hmm. right. But it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is. But I saw it. 
much larger than any of those zombies. Hmm. And it's coming after me. What was that? That's what I was telling you about. It's here. Um, Sherry, wait. Yeah. Guess Daddy's calling. Yeah, so that's Sherry Birkin. You actually play as her in Resident Evil 6. <sighs> um, yeah, quite a lot of interesting stuff about her. Sexy Diary Boo. June 8th. As I was straightening up the chief's room, he burst through the door with a furious look on his face. It's only been two months since I started working here, but that's the second time I've seen him like this. That last time is when I bumped into the statue, only this time he looked even more agitated than ever. I seriously thought for a moment that he was going to hurt me. June 15th. I finally discovered what the chief has been hiding all along. If he finds out that I know, my life will be in serious danger. It's getting late already. I'm just going to have to take this one day at a time. Oh. Okay. Wonder what he found out. That the chief's a rapist. That he's a murderer. That he's working for Umbrella. Hmm. And of course we have an F8 spray in here. That we don't need. There's nothing more here. Okay. So anyway, that's this area cleared out now, pretty much. Don't know if there's anything else of value here. I don't think so. It's kept clean. Yes, makes you wonder just how this uh, chief is affording all of this gear. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. I mean, please chief or not, he's getting some serious backhanders from somewhere. I mean, look at this place. Hmm. Perhaps we shall find out. Now... Oh, the chief is missing. No, oh, he's gone. Notice the gun the chief had, though. He's got the Desert Eagle. Action Express. And we shall take the precinct key. Lovely. So now we can head back. Oh, actually, is there anything behind his desk? I don't think so. But there's this. There's a button below the picture. Will you push it? Yes. So, we've got that. And Chief's Diary. How careless of him to just leave this lying around. September 23rd. It's all over. Those imbeciles from Umbrella have finally done it. Despite all their promises, they've ruined my town. As soon... Soon... The streets will be infested with zombies. I'm beginning to think that I may even be infected myself. I'll kill everyone in town if this turns out to be true. Sounds like a little fantasy that he's had for some time. Um, I was successful in spreading confusion amongst the police as planned. I've made sure that no one from the outside will come to help. With the delays in, pr in police action, no one will have the chance to escape my city alive. So that's interesting. He fucked everything up then. And it's his um, stupid decisions. That made uh, Raccoon City fall. Hmm. I've seen to it personally that all escape routes from inside the precinct have been cut off as well. There are several survivors still attempting to escape through the lower levels. But I'll make sure no one gets out. September 26th. I've had a change of heart about the remaining survivors inside the precinct. I've decided to hunt them down myself. I shot Ed in the back through the heart less than an hour ago. Watched him writhe in pain on the floor. In a pool of his own blood. The expression on his face was positively exquisite. He died with his eyes wide, wide open, staring up at me. It was beautiful. I wonder if the mayor's daughter is still alive. I let her escape so I could enjoy hunting her down later. I'm going to enjoy my new trophy. Yes, frozen forever in the pose I choose to give her. Yeah. So there we go. The chief is uh, quite the piece of shit. Oh well. Just going to have to be a little bit uh, careful of him. Well. That's this place cleaned out for now anyway. So we've got two keys. 
We've got another piece of the puzzle to open that door, but we've got a whole other section of the station to explore. So let's have a little look. Let's jiggle our junk about. We've got the heart key and we've got the diamond key. We don't need that. Put that with that. We don't need that. We are a little bit low on the old handgun ammo, but it's fine. Like, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, right. Yeah, we could run out of ammo and die horribly. But would death be the worst thing in this place? Thinking about it? Surely that would be preferable to becoming a zombie, or worse. But I'm pretty sure Claire, being a Redfield, could handily handle Chief Irons. Although, he isn't exactly a joke himself, to be fair. He's quite a dangerous bloke. As I think the game has illustrated quite well. So, we've got one more door to go through here. Now, this is the door you actually go through in the demo, interestingly enough. In the demo of the remake. Ooh, we've got zombies. Zambles! Come on, fellas. Line up. Wow, there's a lot of them. You know what might be a better idea here? Kind of expensive. But I think it's worth it. Given the amount of ammo we have. Nice. Zombie fall down. Funny. Pretty sure you're not dead. Oh, maybe you are. Okay. Nope. I didn't think you was. Come on, pal. Take your last dirt nap. Alrighty. So, we've got a herb here. We'll have him. Might as well gather up all the health items that we can. Uh, we can go up through there, but we're not going to go up through there just yet. So we're going to go into this door. Because there's some nice things in here. I think there's some ammo. Ooh, we got more zambles. Uh, you know what? Smoke them if you got them. It's not like grenade ammo is uh, ah not good. I was gonna say it's not like grenade ammo is limited here. That zombie on the floor is very much alive. So we need to be a little bit careful. I think we could use the heart key in that door there, which we we're certainly going to have a look at. Now, grab the bullets. Is it just the one pack he's got? You stingy bastard. Just the one. This leads back around to the stairwell just off from the crashed helicopter, which is just here, which is rather spiffy. Can't quite tell what time we're on. So we'll grab that up. Um, we can use... I'm trying to think if there's a safe room around here. Eh, let's have a look through. What's down here? I'm sure we can use the heart key here. Yeah, literally single use key, which is nice. Frees up a nice juicy slot for us. Oh. Yeah. This leads downstairs. Uh, what's the map button? Nope, that is not the map button. Is there no quick map in this version? That's interesting. Right, so that leads downstairs. Of course, we can't actually have a look at downstairs because we haven't been there yet. Okay, cool. That's fine. So we really need to clear this room out, to be honest. 
Hey, friendo. Right, let's go to work on these guys. Right, he's dead. Let's try and drag these two out, actually. Because if we can get around without killing them, then it's probably a better idea. I don't know what else is in here. Right, let's, you know what? It's not like we're going to be that limited on ammo, I suppose. He's gone down. Oh, no. Another one. Come on, buddy. Come on. Greedy bastard. Yeah, they're both dead. Nice. Right, this is what I was looking for earlier. So, two, two, three, six is the magic number. And we get some nice, juicy uh, acid rounds. Police station map. Yeah, we'll take the map. Why the devil not? Now, is it? Yeah, there's some more stuff around here, I think. Uh, another herb. Uh, that's fine, actually. We can take another herb. We'll combine these two bad boys. Ooh. Yeah, we really are bingo ammo right now. But we do have the crossbow. Actually, I've totally forgotten about that. The crossbow is kind of useless, pretty much, apart from... Um, oh, hang on. There's another herb there. Uh, I don't... Uh, you know what? There we go. Now, unlike Resident Evil 1, you can actually just swap out any grenades like when you want. So you don't have to use all of that ammo up in one go. She's kind of looking at something else. I think she's looking at the zombies through the wall. Which is interesting. Uh, now, what else is there? Ah, yeah, there's like a little fax over here. Uh, definitely don't want the ink ribbon anyway, to be honest, game. Thanks all the same, but, uh, you know. Uh, can we not read the fax? guess not. I really don't want to pick that ink ribbon up. Huh, how bizarre. Really thought there were some bullets in here. Right, so we can go back down there or we can continue exploring. But I think what we've got to do really... Oh man, we're on half an hour already. Dude, half an hour already. Okay, so let's go back to a safe room because we need to sort out our inventory anyway. And we need to take the lighter for the next puzzle. If you want to call it a puzzle, I mean, a bit of a stretch. We can leave those herbs where they are. And it's nice to start massing herbs in the item box as well, because we were chewing through them at quite an alarming rate, to be honest, but... Now, we're all right. As I said before, this game, there's so much health in this game. There's so much ammo as well. If you think about all the handgun bullets that we left behind in the beginning to activate that secret. I mean, what? One, two, three. There's four packs of handgun bullets. So that's 60 bullets that we left behind. That's quite a lot of bullets. But I'm going to have to stop recording now anyway, because I'm going to have to get ready for work tomorrow and all that good shit. So I will be saving it here. Now, let's drop all this stuff back. And of course, the herbs and all are up here, like so. Uh, let's have that back here like that, and then you can go up there like that. And then we prepare ourselves... You know what, we're gonna We're gonna put the grenade launcher back for now. And we're gonna use the bow gun. The bow gun is kind of shit. Uh it's the equivalent of Leon's shotgun, or it's supposed to fill that role anyway, but it ugh, it's really not good, man, from what I can remember. 
great against zombies. And you think you've got loads of ammo as well, like 36 in one reload and 18 in the actual gun, but it actually fires three bolts at once in like a fork arc. So, it, yeah, it's not great to be honest. So, anyway, my friends, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know I have. And when we come back, we're going to continue looking at the, uh, the other wing. Because there's some juicy rooms to get into next. So, as always, guys, till next time.